Hey, hey guys, it's Misty Burmeister here. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, if the management team would just get it, if they could just see that we, we're on the verge of losing this customer if we don't change the way we treat them? Or why don't they see me as a person who's perfect for this position? I've clearly got all the experience, the all, clearly I'm the right person for the experience. Or if we would just add, you know, nice couches to the, to the waiting room, maybe some tea, some coffee, then our customers would speak very well of us and we'd expand our reputation and do better. Of, co of course, many of us have had these thoughts. If they would just do this or if they would just do that, and of course they are almost exclusively the owners, the CEO, the executive. I recently watched a gentleman who taught me a great deal about that very conversation. He actually taught me about how important it is. Well, I'll just share with you the quick story. So I walk into this brand new office space. Well, they had just redone the office space inside of a, um, a chiropractor's office in Towson, Maryland. This gentleman, Dr. Mark Cesare, is he's a chiropractor and he's extraordinary at what he does. He's an employee for a guy who owns a couple of different places. It's a brand new office. I walk in and he's, he's sharing with me how excited he is about the new uh, furniture that he just went to Ikea and bought and how he painted the walls and how he's got this on the wall and that and this TV and these things that are going on and I looked at him I go Mark did you I mean this isn't your business did you did you buy this stuff And he said well yes of course I did if he can't see the value of these items in this space for for the comfort of our customers then I'll eat the cost because for me now all of a sudden I get to work in an environment where I get to feel great about it and I just stopped and I looked at him and I, I literally said what an instructional moment he thought I was patronizing him but I really meant it and so it was literally the next day that I noticed um, a spot on the on the the floor one of the places where I swim on the floor that was slick I almost bit it on the floor and I went and I and I told one of the ladies there you know one of the ladies that works there there's this slick spot really slick I almost bit it on the floor and she said to me oh yeah that spot that's right over there by the yeah we know about that spot inside my mind I thought are you crazy why why didn't you do something about it if you know about it why didn't you make a change? Why didn't you do something? And then boom, I thought of Dr. Mark Cesare. And I thought, what, what can I do in this circumstance? Now I know I pay for a membership. I'm not responsible for this. And she's not the manager. She's probably not responsible. And even the manager's not the owner. So he's probably not responsible. But I asked myself, what could I do based on Mark Cesare's example? And so I sent an email and long story made short, they found a way to cover that spot. And I have begun to ask myself that very question in every area of my life where I see a result or I see an outcome that I just politics that are, you know, organizational leadership. Uh, how can I add a little bit of my own brilliance or gifts or um, what can I do to make a difference? How can I, instead of go, I'm not responsible. It's, what kind of responsibility can I take to have an even better outcome for myself and for all the other people who are impacted? So I want to challenge you to take on that idea for yourself and to borrow from Dr. Mark Cesare and, um, and ask yourself that question. And with that, I just want to say here's to your greatness.